this video is intended for all healthcare providers. Wound irrigation. Just to recap, whenever you have a wound or discontinuity of the epithelium or mucosa, the bacteria that live at the top of your skin will go inside the wound and start to grow. So that the most common complication of wound management is infection. Infection is the most common complication of wound management because of bacteria. So one of the critical steps of wound management is wound irrigation. We have to clean the wound before suturing, before closure. The wound should be cleaned enough to decrease the risk of infection and to get faster progression from inflammatory phase into proliferative phase of the wound healing. Unfortunately, we always underestimate the importance of that step and most of us, most of us, we did it in the wrong way because we missed the basic principles of wound irrigation. Now I'm going to, to highlight a few common malpractices that we did in every day. What's the best solution for wound irrigation? You may ask yourself. We have a lot of irrigants in the market, including hydrogen peroxide, sodium hypochloride, normal saline, tap water, iodine, chlorhexidine. Which one is better? الثاني, can we use tap water as an alternative to saline? We will discuss that. High pressure or low pressure, which one is better? To irrigate the wound under high pressure or low pressure? How much do we need? Volume of the irrigants. Gadesh astakhdim during wound irrigation. 10 cc, 20 cc, 50, 100 bag. How much do we need? Is there contraindications for wound irrigation? Have you ever asked yourself, is there a contraindication? Yes, of course, yes. And we will discuss that. Now, let's discuss the first question. What's the best solution for wound irrigation? Logically, it seems that sodium hypochlorite, iodine, chlorhexidine, they, they are better because they have ability to kill bacteria so that the infection rate will be lower when you use those irrigants. But, in 1998, في اثنين systematic review داير and ويلش and موسكاتي they did a systematic review and they confirmed that there is no difference on the infection rate of all irrigants so that use what you have the cheapest and most available one is water use water use normal saline it does not matter why because the these studies they, they show that mechanical debridement, mechanical removal of the bacteria is much more important than the chemical ability of the irrigants to kill bacteria. A cleaning of the wounds depends on the mechanical force. We did not depend on the chemical property of, the, of that irrigants. So that don't spend your time regarding the type of irrigants. Tap water or saline, use whatever you have. If you don't have saline, use tap water. As I said, mechanical debridement, mechanical dislodgement of the bacteria is a key for, for decreasing the risk of, of wound infection. <coughs> now, let's discuss pressure, high pressure or low pressure. How much pressure should we use during irrigation? Honestly, the American College of Surgeons they defined high pressure as if you deliver a pressure from 35 to 70 psi during irrigation, this is considered a high pressure. Low pressure from 1 to 15 psi. You may ask yourself, or logically it seems that when you use high pressure, it's much better than using low pressure. Logically. But other factors should be, should be considered. If you use a high pressure, that pressure may cause injury to the wound bed. This pressure may drive the bacteria deeper into the tissue. 
so that the American College of Surgeons they did not recommend using high pressure at all what if we use low pressure irrigation under low pressure you may not have enough force to dislodge the bacteria as we all know that force equal pressure divided by area if the pressure is increased the force will be increased right if you use low pressure we will not have enough force to dislodge the bacteria so that we need balance we need a pr pressure that does not cause injury to the wound bed and it is enough to dislodge the bacteria this pressure it's range from 11 to 31 في الدراسات بيحكي لك to dislodge the bacteria you need minimum 8 BSI from 8 to 12 from 8 to 12 BSI is perfect to dislodge the bacteria so that keep your pressure in that range so you may ask yourself how can I measure it very simple use piston syringe حجمها بيكون 35 ml to 50 ml I recommend you to use 50 ml and I will told you why in just a few seconds use piston syringe 50 ml with a needle gauge 19 or 18 this syringe if you press with, with two thumbs this syringe will deliver a pressure in that range and this pressure is recommended last thing uh, contraindications for wound irrigation the primary contraindication for wound irrigation is that whenever you have sinus tract or fistula you have to determine the extent of that fistula because it is fistula, it is a tract if you did irrigation this irrigation force may drive the bacteria deep into the tissue so that please whenever you have fistula or bleeding don't go for wound irrigation unless you have exactly the extent of, of that fistula I really recommend you to have this book I remember that most of my colleagues they just bring a bag of saline with a drip and they start to irrigate the wound this is common malpractice because in this way you just waste your material and you waste your time this pressure is not enough to dislodge the bacteria don't use it anymore if you have any questions just write it down and i will be and i will be pleased to answer them thank you for watching